Hey folks, Darth Alice here again, and I just want to do a quick little video of this curve saber from Rebels, the Ahsoka Tano. This is the main hilt, and that I did all the modeling on this based upon, of course, the uh, cartoon that just came out not long ago. But also, there's a few different images and renderings on the internet that I used for styling cues. One of the thing about this that makes it unique is that it's all cold drawn aluminum. In other words, this is CNC bent right out of the extruding machine. That way I can get this nice subtle curve and it's a seamless piece of metal. It's not cast, it's not going to be something fragile that was done with cheap pop metal. Something else I'd like to point out too is that again, you look at how this thing is built, it's all smooth and seamless as much as I could possibly do anyways. The machining I had pretty well hired out for the extrusion part, of course for the powder coating, and also for this. This is a very deep laser etch. They actually call it laser engraving because it went so deep. The rest is done in a gray silver powder coat. For the internals, I used an 18650 battery from Solos Hold lithium ion, 1.3 millimeter recharge port, one inch head unit, and this one runs a Tri-Cree white, blue, white, royal blue and green. 23 millimeter Railmaster speaker in the back. I've got the full D-ring that is, uh, it is structural and hang off a belt. The switches here are a Microtac brass added switch and also a small stainless steel switch here, which both again are momentaries to run the board. Which with this one, I installed the 3D printed chassis with a new Igniter 2 from Nigon Electronics. Thanks again to Scott DeBoer for constantly coming out with new boards and coming out with better quality. Just, it blows me away. Um, for Greeblies, this here is a small piece of brass that I turn with a lathe. And I used a small red garnet in here for the Greebly on the side because I like that accent. Then on the side, this isn't a cover tech. This is a piece off an old Star Killer that I had floating around here and it just ends up matching what you see again in a lot of the uh, representations of this hilt. So with all that, let me fire this thing up. Now with this Sabre, I didn't change anything. I didn't even put the card, the SD card, into the computer and do any changes on it. These are stock fonts. However, what I've done is, uh, really I'll just point out the ones that actually show white like the original. So again, just popping the card out and doing the changes. Made ignition. Typical, typical igniter. Let's see it with the blade. Again, I haven't changed any settings from stock. And you can see how bright that is. It's just a standard tri -cree. It's actually one of the Copper Novas from the Custom Saber Shop. Now the neat thing about this is that Scott has added some new fonts into his igniter package as stock. That's an old one. There we go. Order. I was quite surprised to find this on this SD card. <laughs> that one's new and so is this one. Velocity. Now this one it's mixing white and green with a very unstable blade. This almost sounds like a pod racer. Lock up. Masters.
This is the first find, the one that's stock. really about it folks I just wanted to go through a few of these fonts and show off the Ahsoka once again I appreciate everybody uh, give me all the encouragement and thank you once again this is Darth Alice may the force be with you always